It is Monday, March 26th. Today is an A day. Welcome to your announcements. This is another reminder about WLP. We are now taking submissions for fingerprints. We've already gotten a couple, but you should really submit. We can take photography, artwork, writing pieces. You can give it to your LA teacher. Uh, give it to Mr. Dewar in room 232, the drop box that's right outside the library, or email it at WashingtonLiteraryPress at gmail.com. So you should submit. <laughs> Hey guys, tonight is Mr. Washington at 5.30 in the auditorium. Uh, tickets will be $5, but if you have an activities pass, it'll be $2. And all Mr. Washington boys, please remember to come to room 119 for the final meeting. We have a lot to cover today. Ladies and gentlemen, it is this time of the month again. The improv show will be this Friday. Come see it. It's going to be good. What time? I'll tell you guys the time later. <laughs> All right. Um, we've got huge congratulations to Nicole Techow. Nicole won the State Girls and Boys Club of the Year Award. Uh, I'm sorry, the State Boys and Girls uh, Club Youth of the Year Award. And she was recently honored in Lincoln, Nebraska, where she was also awarded a $5,000 scholarship. So Nicole is going to go on to Chicago to compete for the Midwest Boys and Girls Youth of the Year. And hopefully from there we'll move on to the Nationals. The process is a rigorous process of interviews and speeches with major businesses and panels. So Nicole brings home this honor. She is a just a sophomore and uh, follows a group of very prestigious winners, including Washington's very own uh, Stacy Walker was a was a winner of this. So congratulations, Nicole Techow. Uh, Warrior Girls Golf Team will have a meeting after school today in room 128 at 310. There will be no outdoor practice due to weather. Uh, there will be a mandatory boys basketball meeting this Friday in the gym after school at 130. All boys planning on or interested in playing basketball next year are required to attend. See Coach Decker if you have questions. A reminder to all volleyball athletes, strength and conditioning will be held on Tuesday after school and open gym on Wednesday from 6 to 7 p.m. Any questions, see Coach O. Students who are interested in taking summer government or economics need to see their counselor and fill out the online registration form by April 3rd. The form only takes a couple of minutes to complete. The cost is $75 per course. Sophomores, Cedar Rapids Chamber of Commerce sponsors the Youth Leadership for Five Seasons program for area high school sophomores. Five students will be selected based on an application to represent strong leadership from Washington High School. Any student that is interested in applying for this opportunity must sign up in the counseling office by the end of the day on March. Oops, that is already pass so scratch that let's see here today's events 4:30 track and field boys JV Invitational at Iowa City High School of course we got Mr. Washington again in the auditorium staff birthdays today happy birthday to Mr. Nathan Price student birthdays today happy birthday to Mary Bell Barrera and Naomi Griffin half birth student half birthdays today happy half birthday to Jonathan Anderson, Savion Lewis, Andrew Todd, and Isaac Tominski. They have birthdays August 25th, so we want to make sure we remember to recognize them today. Uh, track and field announcements. The Warrior women's track team got off, got their outdoor season off to a fast start, start last week with two meets for all the sleet and snow arrived. Last Tuesday, they traveled to Iowa City for the Sherwood Relays, while on Thursday, they were down in Muscatine for a meet against some of the strongest teams in the Quad Cities area. Senior Vanessa uh, Eniola won the long jump at both meets, while junior Regan Gorman pulled off the double in the 1500 meters. Also coming in first in Iowa City was the Washington Distance Medley team that included Vanessa and Regan along with freshman Taviana Moore and sophomore Jojo Hayes. Leading the Warriors in the hurdles in both meets were junior Gracie Stark and freshman LaShonda Leach. While senior Emma Witt led Wash in the 200 meter dash in Muscatine, where she also led off our medley relay. The Warrior women next compete this Thursday in uh, let's see in the bullet invitational so apologies for the late start guys hopefully we are finishing in a timely manner we have one more announcement from mr ballard hi guys i'll make it very brief in case you are eating lunch we've had some issues with a couple of people not cleaning up their trays so we are strongly encouraging everyone to make sure they pick up their trays some tables even have signs on it because they've been a little worse at it so please pick up your trays at lunch we don't want to suspend the ability for people to sit at their favorite seats because they go away so please clean your trays and remember it's always a great day to be a warrior happy monday